Anne Frank was born in 1929 in Frankfurt, Germany. She was one of the most famous victims of the Holocaust and is best known for her book, The Diary of a Young Girl. She moved from Germany to Netherlands with her family in 1930 after Hitler gained power. However, the Germans invaded Netherlands in 1940. The increasing persecution of the Jews forced her family to go into hiding in 1942. During those years, Anne spent her time writing stories and writing in her diary. One day, she hoped to be a writer. However, when her family was transported to the Bergen Belsen concentration camp, she died of typhus a few days after the death of her sister Margaret Frank. Her father was the only one in her family who survived the Holocaust. After her death, her father got her diary and got it published. The Diary of a Young Girl was originally published in Dutch language in the year 1947 under the title Het Ekatharius. It was translated into more than 60 languages all over the world. It chronicled the various events of Anne Frank's life from 12th June 1942 to 1st August 1944 under the Nazi occupation. The short story from the diary of Anne Frank is an extract from the book from the diary of a young girl with a slight adaptation. It portrays her personal reflections on her writing, family, friends and school. Through her words we get to know Anne Frank as any other 13 year old girl. Now let us look at the lesson from the diary of Anne Frank by Anne Frank. Paper has more patience than people. Anne Frank thought of this saying as she sat alone at home wondering whether to go out or not. She decided not to and thought about writing in a diary. What she needed was a friend. This didn't mean that she was lonely. Rather, Anne Frank had a loving family and 30 people she could call friends. However, with friends, she felt like talking about ordinary things and having a good time rather than talk about her secrets. This she felt was unlikely to change, so she decided to start to write a diary. It was a strange experience for her, writing. She had never written anything before. She also didn't believe anyone would be interested in what she had to say or write. But that didn't matter. She felt like writing. She also felt the great need to get things off her chest. Finally, she wanted a friend, so she named her diary Kitty. She began by giving a brief introduction of her family. Her parents were Otto and Edith Frank. They emigrated to Holland. Anne and Margaret, her sister, were raised by their grandmother before they joined their parents. Her grandmother underwent an operation in 1941 and sadly passed away in 1942. Anne often thought of her grandmother. So, Having made instructions, she wrote to Kitty on 20 June, this 1942. Her entire class was terrified of the upcoming teachers' meeting. In this meeting, the teachers would decide who would move to the next grade. And, irritated by her classmates, wrote that at least a quarter of the class deserved to fail. But she also knew that teachers were the most unpredictable creatures on earth. For herself, she was not too worried. All they could do was wait and not lose heart. She believed she got along well with all her teachers. However, Mr. Kissing, the maths teacher, was annoyed with her for talking in the class. So, she was assigned extra homework by him. It was an essay on the subject, a chatterbox. That evening, Anne thought over this topic again and again. 
what she wanted was to come up with a convincing argument as to why one should talk rather than write an unnecessary long essay. So she argued that she inherited this habit from her mother and there was nothing that could be done about inherited traits. Though Mr. Kissing enjoyed the argument, he assigned her a second essay when she talked through his class again. Mr. Kissing liked her second essay so much that he left her alone for the next two lessons. However, when caught talking in a lesson after that, Mr. Kissing assigned her a third essay. Quack, 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 said Mistress Chatterbox. Her entire class laughed at the title. and laughed too, but she was also running out of ideas by this time. It was, she decided, time to come up with something else. So, with a friend's help, she wrote a poem about a family of ducks. In the poem, the three baby ducklings were bitten to death by their father for quacking too much. This poem was well received by everyone. Mr. Kissing read this poem aloud to the class. Since then, Anne could talk in the class and wasn't assigned any extra homework. In fact, Anne humorously confides in Kitty. Mr. Kissing jokes often after that incident. Thank you.